friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kathleen and today's video is going to be my favorite book cover. So I did a video like this last year where I talked about 10 books with covers that I find absolutely gorgeous. So I wanted to go ahead and do an updated video with 10 different books with book covers that I also think are gorgeous. Five of the books will be books that I already read and then another five will be books that I'm planning on reading. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and start off with the five books that I already read. So the first book with a cover that I absolutely love is A Court of Wings and Ruin by Sarah J. Maas. I think that this is the best cover in the whole series. I love the dress. I love that we have a full figure because in the other two books, Akatar and Akamath, we only have half a person and I just think it's so gorgeous. The details of the dress, her dagger right over here along with her tattoo. I I think it's so beautiful. I think they did a really, really good job with this cover. Easily my favorite cover in the whole series so far. All right, and then the next book that I already read with a gorgeous, gorgeous cover is, of course, my favorite book of all time, and it is The Book Thief by Marcus Souza. This is the special anniversary edition that they released a few years ago, and I absolutely love this cover. It's very simplistic. However, the cover has some meaning behind it. I don't know if you can tell but there are some faded words as if it's been painted over with white paint and that's actually a part of the story it is so cool I like how they did that it's a very important part of the book and I think they did it so well and it came out so so good all right and then the next book is a book that I read this year and I absolutely love this book this book is definitely one of my favorite books that I read this year and it is an amber in the ashes by Saba Tahir now this is the first edition of the UK edition of An Amber in the Ashes. This is the cover that you get now. It, I believe the UK edition now looks similar to this but I think the colors change a bit not 100% sure. Originally I wanted the limited edition of these books because the limited edition books had black stained edges and they were also signed by Saba Tahir. Unfortunately I can't find those books for a reasonable price. There is one that I found however it is a hundred and forty dollars and as much as I absolutely love this book I cannot fathom paying a hundred forty dollars for a book so I bought this edition and I am actually going to paint the edges myself. Looked up tutorials on YouTube how to do it. I'm fairly certain I can do this without messing up the book hopefully but I'm just absolutely in love with this cover. I think it's so much prettier than the editions that we have now. The cover. All right, and so the next book that I wanted to show you is Illuminae by Jay Kristoff and Amy Kaufman. Gemina also has a similar cover to this, except it's blue, but I love this cover. It's so cool. Like, I especially like the naked cover. It's just so cool. It's exactly like how the book is written. If you have read Illuminae, then you know that it's written in multimedia format, so we have security footage, emails, online chats, and so I think that this cover says a lot about what the book is about. I think it's so cool the way they did it and you can see that they blacked out some of the words and they have like red writing all over and it's actually part of the book. You'll see this a lot if you read the book. It's so cool. It's so cool. I think this is one of the best covers I've ever seen. Whoever designed the cover of this book needs a raise or something because I think they did such a good job. Alright, so the last cover that I wanted to show you guys that is a book that I already read is Heartless by Marissa Meyer and I'm talking about this particular edition. This is the Owl Crate limited edition that was included in every box to the Owl Crate subscribers. Don't get me wrong, the black cover is beautiful as well, but I find that the white cover is just like bam it's right there it's so beautiful and you cannot take your eyes off of it I think it's absolutely gorgeous I think the white just makes the book pop off and make it so much prettier all right so now moving on to the five books with gorgeous covers that I have not read yet so the first book is Beauty and the Beast I never read the original Beauty and the Beast book and honestly I only bought this book because of this beautiful cover this is the Mina Lima illustrated book of Beauty and the Beast and it is interactive. So look at this cover, it's so gorgeous and Honestly, it makes me want to read Beauty and the Beast, although I probably won't for a while, but I think that this is absolutely gorgeous. Whoever designed this cover is honestly very, very talented because this is absolutely beautiful. 
Alright, and so the next book with a beautiful cover that I haven't read yet is Across the Universe by Beth Revis. I love this cover. I think it's so pretty. Like, like, can you see it? It's just so pretty. It's, I believe, probably set in outer space, obviously from the title and from the cover itself. But I think this is such a gorgeous cover. Whoever designed this is a genius and the fact that they changed the cover for the last book in this series blows my mind. Why would you change the cover? I can't, I can't, I can't even, I don't even know why. I don't know what the publishing company was thinking because this is such a gorgeous cover. One of the biggest reasons why I decided to buy this book is because of the cover. The second reason is because it's set in outer space and I've been really interested in outer space books recently. This is very well done. Alright, and so the next cover that I really like is The Crown's Fade by Evelyn Skye. Now, this is a book that I am planning on reading this month. It is the Biblio Squad's book pick of the month for July, so I have to read it. I think that this cover was really, really, really good. I especially love the color scheme that is happening with this book. I love the gray, obviously, but the blue with the red and the spine. I don't know why, but I'm fascinated by this cover. I think it was done so well. Whoever chose the color schemes, again, you rock because it is awesome. I Alright, and so the fourth book in this category of books that I haven't read yet with a gorgeous cover is Never Night by Jay Kristoff. So this is book one in the series and I love this cover. I think it's not so much that it's beautiful but it's eye-catching and it's creepy and it says a lot about what the book is about. I believe it's about Grim Reapers and so this cover screams Grim Reapers. It screams death and it screams really cool epic cover. I love the tone that this book is giving. Absolutely beautiful nicely designed cover. Alright, and finally, the last book for this video whose cover that I really, really enjoy but I haven't read yet is Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, the original screenplay by J.K. Rowling. Yeah, I haven't read this book and I haven't even seen the movie and I know, I know, I call myself a Harry Potter fan and I haven't even read this book or seen the movie and I heard it's fantastic. Regardless, I really like the cover. I think that they did a really good job with the blue and the gold. I feel like it's almost simple. But they put so much detail in there that is so eye-catching. I don't know why I haven't picked up this book because it's so gorgeous. But I never read a screenplay before so I don't know how the reading experience is going to be. So if you guys read the book, let me know down in the comments below what you thought about it. Because anyway guys, so those are all of the books with covers that I absolutely love. There's no formula for me. There's no formula on which books that I find physically attractive versus books that I don't. I just feel like these covers just did something right. Let me know down in the comments below what are some of your favorite book covers because I would really really love to know. Anyway guys, thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a like if you did and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. All of my social medias are linked down below including Twitter, Instagram, and Goodreads if you like to follow me. I hope to see you guys on my next video. Have a good day guys and keep reading. Bye!